Here we are again. Alright. You can kind of see the ribbon there. Maybe not so much, but you'll figure it out when you get yours open. Uh, you can either disconnect the ribbon cable or you can just remove your RF module altogether. Two screws in the ring of light module, one here, one here. Just unplug it. Set your faceplate aside for safety. There you have the inside of the console. You just lift up on the disk drive a little bit. Provided you don't have big stubby fingers, you should be able to reach in there and just unplug the SATA. cable. Drive removed. As you see I've got Talisman fans installed. They got their own clear wind tunnel. Really have a great look to them. I'll go ahead and take this out to you while we're at it. This being the screw on the top of the hard drive SATA cable. And this just picks up off of there. Not the way. Now to remove this back piece, this piece right here, I'm going to have to take out my talisman fans first because the wind tunnel is attached. On a stock system, the wind tunnel is actually a separate piece. So it is just a little bit easier to work with. Two screws, one on each corner, hold the fan in place. I'm just kind of scooting it out the way here. All right. Pull both my screws out. Now, to remove this black piece, there's going to be a screw here that holds it in place. And then also on the underside, another screw right here that holds it in place. You're going to have to remove both those screws in order to remove this black back piece. That said, I'll flip it over. This is a T10 screwdriver, by the way. 
is the screwdriver used to remove the top shell housing. It's also used for all these bottom bolts, screws. Aside from the X clamps, the X clamps would be a T8. Alright, we got both of those screws removed. Now you just lift it on up. Here's your fan. And plugs in right here. Fan plug. Swung off wires, which I don't need to be removing. Well, however, unplug the speaker. Maybe. Plugging the speaker here because well, I'm going to be removing this motherboard from its case. Alright, back over here. Here we got the wireless card. I'm going to get that out of there. Great thing about these Xboxes, they really only use two different size screws. And this is just a USB plug Wi-Fi card, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six screws here. These are all motherboard screws. That's all of them. Now we've got the four X clamp screws, which again, those are T8s. Same as the RLL or the light module. Before we can actually just remove this, I'm going to flip it over, take this piece out as part of the drive bezel. Goes in right here. Just kind of clips right in place. Right in here. <laughs> right in here. Last but not least. We have the motherboard out of the case. All right. That's how you remove a motherboard from in, from the case. Thank you.